wondering, is there something as A-B testing happening in games? Uh, yeah, all the time. Absolutely all the time, especially in mobile games. They'll, they'll, they'll put out a version of the interface to one group of players, and they'll put another version out to another group of players, and then they'll go, what behaviors are they happening, and go for it. You know, um, I think that gets trickier with like more influential creative decisions, like a character. Like mm-hmm. it, you, Marvel doesn't go, let's have Spider-Man A and Spider-Man B and C. <laughs> like, no, you make a call, which is the right, right Spider-Man, right, right, right. and you commit. Because like, yeah, you got to have an opinion as a creative and you got to mm-hmm. have faith that you're making a creative shot because every creative shot is a risk. Mm-hmm. Um, but you got to have guts to make that call. Mm-hmm. And so that's on you as the developer or the, or the creative team or creative director, or whoever. Someone's got to make a gut call. You can't let the data drive all your creative. That's my philosophy. Some people do let the data drive the creative and it's worked out fine for them. But my, my thought is like a good chef. Like a good chef will know what seasoning they need to do to escalate the, the dish because they've been practicing by cooking and tasting and knowing I just don't mix those two things because it's just going to have a bad taste or I could elevate it if I add this, you know, and that comes with doing that work for a long time. 